But you know the saying about rain, sleet, and snow and the mail going on? Well, nobody mentioned rats. Mm, one Indiana post office shut down tonight because, as Emily Longnecker shows us, they're being overrun with unwelcome visitors, among some other problems. Well, Scott and Ann, if you live in Charlottesville, Hancock County, this is where you come to get your mail every day, this tiny post office from 8 until noon. Until recently, though, when the post office says they suspended all operations here because this building just wasn't safe. It was Friday, it was open, and I believe that Saturday morning it was closed. There was a note on the door. The note gave Abby Fancher little explanation why the post office where she's picked up her mail every day for five years was closed, only that there were safety concerns for customers and employees. I noticed like there was a lot of black mold around the windows and stuff like that, but and the lady that was working in there, she said there was trees growing in the back. And then one day I was in there just checking the box. And I could hear a cat in there. So since February 19th, Fancher and close to 200 other Charlottesville customers with post office boxes have driven to nearby Knightstown for their mail. The drive says Fancher isn't that long, but seven minutes, but if you don't go that way, then it's an inconvenience. A spokesperson for the United States Postal Service cited rodents and a lack of heat and air conditioning as safety concerns, saying they were waiting on the building's owner to fix the problems. A search of property records shows the building was built in 1920 and is now owned by Billy and Arlene Mize. Eyewitness News contacted the owners for a comment by phone, and a man who wouldn't identify himself said there wasn't one. For customers like Abby Fancher, she just wants someone to say something about what's being done to get more convenient postal service back. You should be able to get your mail every day, you know, not have to drive out of your way to go get your mail. And a spokesperson for the United States Postal Service says if this building stays closed, they'll be sending out a survey to the people who live around here so that they can decide how they want to get their mail. One of the choices could be curbside service, so it turns out people in Charlottesville could be getting those mailboxes at their houses after all. Scott? All right, Emily Longnecker, thanks.